Hello everyone. I would like to show you my six months progression. Uh, my research topic is the progression of acute pancreatitis to recurrent acute pancreatitis and uh, chronic pancreatitis. Uh, my name is Andra Botongadi. I'm from Transylvania. I graduated last year from the Medical University of Marasvásárhely as a medical student. Uh, I came here on an Erasmus scholarship and started a one-year program at the Translational Medicine Center. My vision regarding to this topic is that we can reach a state where we can prevent most of the patients from the recurrence and the progression of acute pancreatitis. And my mission is to make better recommendations to patients by understanding the progression of acute pancreatitis through REP and CP and to show how common it is and to do attention to it. Uh, because I'm here on a 12-month uh, fellowship program, uh, I'm currently working on one project. Uh, uh, this project is the incidence of recurrent acute pancreatitis and uh, chronic pancreatitis after acute pancreatitis, which will be a systematic review and meta-analysis. But uh, let me briefly introduce the background of my study. The incidence of acute pancreatitis varies globally, affecting from 5 to 80 people per 100,000, and appears to be increasing around the world. Besides that, it may lead to a prompt hospital stay, and those associated with significant morbidity and mortality. And unfortunately, it can lead to recurrent acute pancreatitis and chronic pancreatitis as well. Data on the risk of developing uh, CP and REP have been heterogeneous. Previous studies have shown that its progression to uh, REP and the CP has been reported to occur from uh, approximately from 4 to uh, 24 percent, respectively from 17 to 35 percent of patients following a first attack of acute pancreatitis. Uh, therefore, our aim is to produce a statistically most accurate estimate to assess the incidence of uh, recurrent acute pancreatitis and chronic pancreatitis in the patients after different number of episodes of uh, acute pancreatitis. Uh, as this is a study examining the incidence, the COCOPOP framework is applicable for posing the question. This study does examine the condition of recurrent acute pancreatitis and chronic pancreatitis in a context of after first episode of acute pancreatitis or in the second case after different number of episodes of acute pancreatitis in a population of patients. So our clinical questions, uh, what is the incidence of recurrent acute pancreatitis and chronic pancreatitis? in the patients after first episode of acute pancreatitis, and what is the incidence of chronic pancreatitis in patients after different number of episodes of acute pancreatitis. Um, to achieve our goal, uh, we have done a systematic search in three databases. Uh, on this slide, you can see the flowchart of our selection. Currently, uh, we have three outcome results, and we are waiting for uh, four more outcome results, uh, three by uh, etiology, and uh, one uh, in the pediatric population. Uh, but now I'm going to talk about the first three outcome. This is our first result. This first spot shows us the incidence rate of recurrent acute pancreatitis in a population of adult patients who suffered the first episode of acute pancreatitis. Uh, based on this data, the overall incidence rate is four cases per 100 person a year. That means uh, the risk of one patient to have one episode of recurrent acute pancreatitis is 4% in one year. Using this formula, uh, on the right side, uh, on the slide, uh, we can calculate the cumulative incidence from the incidence rate, uh, which will be around 20% uh, over a five-year period. Uh, this is our uh, second result. This uh, shows the incidence rate of chronic pancreatitis in a population of adult patients uh, who suffered from first episode of acute pancreatitis. Uh, based on this data, the overall incidence rate is uh, one case per 100 person a year. So uh, the risk of one patient to have, to progress to chronic pancreatitis is 1% uh, in one year. Uh, and the, the cumulative incidence is around 7% over a five-year period. Uh, this, is our, this is our third uh, outcome. Uh, this first but shows us the incidence rate of chronic pancreatitis in a population of patients who suffered at least two episodes of acute pancreatitis. Uh, in this case, the overall incidence rate is uh, three cases per 100 person a year. Uh, that means the risk of one patient to progress to chronic pancreatitis is 3% in one year. Uh, and the cumulative incidence is uh, around 16% uh, 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 in one year, in a five-year period. Uh, the strength of our study 
uh, are that uh, it will be the first uh, meta-analysis to investigate the progression of acute pancreatitis taking into account the time factor. Uh, it will be the first meta-analysis uh, to uh, look at the incidence of recurrent acute pancreatitis in a pediatric uh, acute, pan acute pancreatitis population and uh, the strict inclusion criteria for uh, acute pancreatitis patients. We uh, included only articles where the acute pancreatitis was diagnosed by the revised Atlanta classification. The limit limitations of our study are that uh, the majority of the included studies were uh, retrospective follow-up studies, and another lim limitation is that uh, the missing uh, individual follow-up data, so we had to use the mean follow-up data. Uh, so uh, based on our estimate, our conclusion is that uh, over a five-year time interval, one in five patients uh, will have one uh, episode of recurrent acute pancreatitis. Uh, 7% progre will progress to chronic pancreatitis, and uh, in uh, acute pancreatitis patients, the presence of one recurrent acute episode, uh, uh, one episode of recurrent acute pancreatitis, at least doubles the risk of uh, chronic pancreatitis. Uh, uh, my expectation is that uh, hopefully this will provide uh, stronger evidence to both patients and physicians. Uh, that these patients are at risk uh, for progression of acute pancreatitis, uh, thereby highlighting uh, the importance of patient awareness and uh, raising uh, awareness of the need for prevention by any, by any intervention. And uh, the implication for research is that there is uh, aware of the need for uh, prospective multicenter studies assessing uh, acute pancreatitis progression uh, uh, where the follow-up time uh, is the same uh, at all the included patients. And uh, my plan is to finish this by the end of April. And uh, this is the quote I have chosen. Shot for the moon, if you miss it, you will still land among the stars. And uh, thank you for your attention. what data you had for the pediatric population and what were for adults are very mixed. So can you tell the no, difference we, we, between we will, the populations? Uh, so we analyzed only uh, adult patients. Uh, we will analyze uh, separately the pediatric population. I might have missed, but what, was the, what would be the next step for, for research? What would be the next thing you would be looking at? Uh, we look at the, the, uh, the incidence rate by etiology. Uh, this will be there. Next. Thank you. You mentioned that uh, you will perform a subgroup analysis based on the age groups, so I mean adult and pediatric cases, and also based on the etiology. That's completely understandable. Uh, uh, what about, for example, uh, a separate analysis based on the countries? Because you are investigating prevalences, and I, I'm pretty sure that, for example, the number of the acute pancreatitis and also the recurrent cases uh, are highly influenced by the you know, the, the cultural habits or the drinking habits. So uh, I'm almost sure that, for example, the number of the recurrent cases, for example, in the case of uh, alcohol-induced acute pancreatitis here is completely different than, for example, I don't know, Switzerland. I, now I just thought something. Yes, yes, uh, we tried, but uh, unfortunately we don't have enough data for that. Uh, that, that was our plan as well, but uh, we don't have enough data. So. Uh, reg regarding the countries, re re where the uh, patients were included in the study? Yeah, we, we plan to do oh, as well. Okay, thank you. Has chronic pancreatitis been excluded at the moment of diagnosis of acute pancreatitis in, in the studies? Yes, yes, of course, in every study. In the last sl slide, you mentioned uh, there's need a new prospective study. What could be the end point of uh, this study? What's supposed to? Uh, if, you, uh, if you go back one slide, one of your conclusions was that, that, okay, need a prospective multicenter studies assessing IP progression. What could be the end point of the study? What is your plan? The, 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 the end point, the, the real uh, incidence rate, for, for example. Uh, but there's a lot of issues. For example, country, alcohol consumption, and so that's why it's maybe it's much wider. I would like to ask you if you considered uh, analyzing uh, events leading up to either a second acute pancreatitis or 
or the chronic uh, uh, acute, uh, chronic pancreatitis, and and uh, if you would like to analyze those. So Sorry, the events, the e events leading straight up to uh, a second uh, pancreatitis. Would did you, or would you like to analyze these? Or was there any mention of these in the studies? We we need uh, the time uh, factor, and uh, we could we cannot uh, evaluate uh, b between the reps one and two. And, uh, there we don't have uh, the time. So, mm -hmm. the full of time. Mm -hmm.